you have it. No more engine in here. So um, what's gonna be going in here is the diesel uh, engine. On the engine stand right there. So stay tuned, cause uh, this build's gonna be going down here shortly as well. And sorry, my camera also cut off on the footage of me pulling this out, which stinks. I don't know if it got the chain brake in or not, but um, finally got it out and uh, the new engine should fit in here uh, with tons of room. So should be good. I've just gotta you know, delete all this other stuff that I don't need, which is a lot. And uh, then we'll go from there. But, uh, stay tuned to the channel to see more. Here is the shot of the engine bay. Um, I've got almost everything out um, that's going to come out at this point. And here's the engine that came out of there. Uh, and the trans it is an automatic. Um, and uh, anyway, it's got it on the pallet so I can stick some forks up and uh, easy moving it whenever or wherever I want to move it. This is the chosen vehicle. Uh, for the diesel build um, and I'll tell you why the main reason is because I already owned it it was given to me what my plans with this I will um, end up showing you guys a picture um, on what the the stance and everything I'm planning um, I'm planning to you know put some 12 or 14 wide wheels on here and stance it out because it is a two-wheel drive I don't plan on lifting it anymore at all so I may even uh, lower it I'm not sure I doubt it but um, there is a picture like I said I will show you guys on the idea that I have in mind for this and uh, the other goal is to kind of get it to match my F-350 a little bit um, since they, you know, are both uh, the Mazda B-3000 is kind of like the Ford Ranger, uh, you know, kind of like that. So um, the roots of the trucks are both Fords pretty much and um, I have some cool ideas for this. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the next step really is to clean this up a bit and uh, then start doing the mock-up for motor mounts, uh, where those will be located. All around, the truck is in amazing shape. That's another reason why I went with this. As far as rust goes, there is no rust besides you know you can see like this surface rust which is just from the paint uh, but as far as underneath goes there literally is no structural rust on this thing so for mock-up purposes i'm not going to get crazy with like uh you know taking stuff off and uh, powder coating it at this point um, I might do that later once I get the whole truck together and running. So stay tuned for the rest of the build. I'm out. Best wife in the world. Brought me out some water. Always love that. Oops, let me zoom out here. I did get the grill off and it had a crack over here that I didn't recognize until I got it off so I probably will end up getting a new one of those I just finished power washing the uh, engine bay here got everything looking nice and clean 
Uh, as you can see, there is no rust on this thing. It is just super clean and going to be a great base uh, to build this diesel motor on. So this is going to be part one of the Mazda diesel build. Um, please stay tuned, like and subscribe. I'm out.